So I just saw the announcement of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. It's a long name. And I wanted to make a quick video about the camera. So this time there won't be any script, except for some key points that I want to bring up. And no proper lighting, I'm relying just on some window light here. So if the lighting changes throughout the video, I'm sorry. So this video is gonna be my impression of the Pocket 6K Pro announcement as a Pocket 4K owner. So Blackmagic just announced the Pocket 6K Pro. And this camera isn't a replacement for the 4K or the 6K. It will be an addition to the Pocket family. The new Pocket 6K Pro uses the same sensor as the 6K, but has some new and very welcome features. So the Pocket family now has a new member. The 4K is priced at $1300, the 6K at $2000, and now the new 6K Pro is priced at around $2500. So for $500 more than the 6K, what extra features do you get if you buy the 6K Pro? So let's start with what I consider to be the most exciting new feature of the 6K Pro, the internal ND filters. The camera has internal NDs with two stops, four stops and six stops. And those filters are IR ND filters, so they will also filter out any IR pollution you would get when using strong non-IR NDs. So the camera has two, four and six stops of ND. The addition of having an eight stop filter would of course be welcome, but I think up to six stops will cover most needs. So if you want to compare it to using the normal 6K with a matte box using 4x5.65 filters, if you would buy Tiffin full spectrum IR NDs, those would be roughly $500 per filter. Or another option would be to buy the Nisi IR ND filters, which go for around $250 per filter. So the additional price tag of $500 compared to the normal 6K is quite a good value, if you ask me. If you look at the back of the camera, you will see something different as well. The 5 inch LCD touchscreen is still there, but it's new and improved. It now tilts up and down, as well as having 1500 nits of brightness, which is also HDR. So for some use cases, that means you can leave your external monitor at home. If you buy the 6K Pro, you can also buy an optional EVF. The EVF has a resolution of 1280 by 960 and if you're a person that prefers using viewfinders compared to monitors, this will allow you to completely block out your surroundings and focus on your image. The new Pocket 6K Pro also has an additional Mini XLR input, so compared to the 4K or the 6K, you now have the option of using two phantom powered XLR microphones compared to one. The camera also uses different batteries, which will hopefully give you better battery life. The newer ones are the Sony MPF 570 compared to the Canon LPE 6 on the 4K and the 6K. And on top of that, Blackmagic also released a new battery grip specifically for the 6K Pro. The 6K Pro will record natively in the newer Gen 5 color science compared to Gen 4 on the 4K and 6K. On those cameras you can however change from Gen 4 to Gen 5 in DaVinci Resolve 17 if you're shooting in RAW. And speaking of RAW, they also added the option of Q1 and Q3, compared to just having Q0 and Q5 if you're shooting in constant quality. And on the spec sheet for the 6K Pro, you can also see that the option of recording B-RAW in 4K is now available. And since this is raw, it wouldn't surprise me if this is a sensor crop to get the 4K image, since this is how raw works on all other modes in both the 4K and the 6K. And the 6K Pro uses the same sensor as the normal 6K. On the Ursa Mini Pro 12K, you can record in Blackmagic RAW at resolutions like 8K or 4K without the sensor crop, but it uses a completely different sensor so my guess would be on the 6K Pro, the 4K is probably a crop, but I could be wrong. So the bottom line is that this is just a 6K Pro. It's a Pro version of the normal 6K. Your image quality will be the same, 
but you now have extra pro features in your body. So do I as a Pocket 4K owner feel the need to upgrade to the 6K Pro? Well, the camera is certainly interesting and it got me excited, but for now I will probably not be upgrading to the 6K Pro. I'm very happy with my 4K, but in the future maybe I will. Maybe I will pick up a used 6K Pro in a year or two. Time will tell. We'll see. But that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see some more, and I'll see you next time.